Have you ever wondered what goes into making the incredibly small and complex chips that power the technology we use every day? Imagine a machine so advanced that only a handful of companies in the world could build it. Well, that's about to change. Russia has just announced a major breakthrough, the development of its own extreme ultraviolet lithography machine. This innovation is shaking up the global semiconductor industry, challenging the dominance of ASML, a Dutch company that has had a near monopoly over this technology. Let's dive into what this means and how it could transform the future of chip manufacturing. Why this breakthrough matters. In the world of semiconductor manufacturing, there is one crucial technology that enables the creation of the ultra-precise circuits that power everything we use, from smartphones and computers to AI systems and autonomous vehicles. This technology is called EUV, or Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography, and it's at the core of creating the smallest, most powerful chips required for today's advanced technology. Until very recently, there was essentially one company, ASML, that controlled the lion's share of the global market for EUV lithography machines. Based in the Netherlands, ASML's monopoly on this technology has put them at the heart of the global semiconductor race, leaving other countries and companies at a significant disadvantage. But what happens when a new player enters the game, armed with their own groundbreaking technology? This is exactly what Russia has done. With the development of its own EUV lithography machine, Russia's entrance into this highly specialized and competitive field could disrupt the balance of power in semiconductor manufacturing. But how did Russia pull this off, and why is it such a game-changer for the global tech industry? Let's dive deeper into this significant breakthrough. The problem. The global struggle for EUV lithography dominance. Before Russia's entry into the world of EUV lithography, there were only a handful of countries and companies equipped with the infrastructure and expertise to develop these highly complex machines. Leading the charge were the United States, Japan, and Germany. Nations with decades of experience and significant investments in advanced semiconductor manufacturing. These countries had honed the necessary technologies to design, build, and operate EUV machines, which are some of the most intricate pieces of machinery ever created. So what makes EUV lithography so critical? At its heart, the process relies on a laser light source that must operate at an incredibly short wavelength of 13.5 nanometers. This is far smaller than the 193 nanometer wavelength used in previous generations of lithography machines. It's this ability to use shorter wavelengths that enables EUV machines to create the extremely tiny and precise patterns needed to manufacture modern chips. However, creating such a light source isn't easy, it's a huge technical challenge, and only a select group of companies such as the American firm Symer had managed to master the technology. But it doesn't end there. The mirrors and lenses used in EUV machines need to be precisely engineered to focus the light onto the silicon wafers that will eventually become chips. These components must be made from highly specialized materials and require exacting production processes to meet the high standards of EUV lithography. The level of precision needed to produce mirrors capable of handling extreme ultraviolet light is incredibly high, so much so that only a handful of companies worldwide could meet the stringent requirements. These challenges, the complexity of the light source, the difficulty of making ultra-precise optics and the need for highly specialized engineering, meant that developing a fully functional EUV lithography machine was thought to be impossible for countries outside of this exclusive circle of players. The Solution Russia's Innovation in EUV Lithography In a stunning breakthrough, Russia has managed to overcome the immense technical obstacles standing in the way of EUV lithography. In a move that could fundamentally reshape the global semiconductor market, Russia has developed its own EUV lithography machine, capable of challenging ASML's dominance. So, how exactly did Russia manage to pull this off? What sets their technology apart from the rest of the world? Let's take a closer look at the innovations that could potentially disrupt the market. Number 1. New Light Source One of the key innovations in Russia's EUV machine lies in the light source. While ASML's EUV machines use a laser that operates at a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, Russia's machine takes it a step further by using a slightly shorter wavelength of 11.2 nanometers. 
You might think that this small difference wouldn't matter much, but it actually has huge implications for chip manufacturing. A shorter wavelength means the ability to etch even smaller and more precise features onto a silicon wafer. This could result in more powerful, energy-efficient chips that are ideal for next-generation technologies like 5G artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicles. What's more, Russia's new technology might also present a more cost-effective and efficient alternative to ASML's machines, which are notoriously expensive and complex. Number 2. Xenon-Based Laser Another key difference is Russia's use of a xenon-based laser for its light source. ASML uses a more complex tin droplet method in which tiny droplets of tin are hit with a laser to generate EUV light. While this approach works, it's a complicated and costly process. In contrast, Russia's xenon-based laser method simplifies the entire process. Xenon, an inert gas, is ionized to create EUV light, making the system potentially cheaper and easier to operate. This could lead to more cost-effective production of EUV lithography machines and a potential price advantage over ASML's technology. Number 3. No Photo Masks One of the most revolutionary aspects of Russia's EUV lithography machine is that it doesn't require the use of photo masks, a crucial component in traditional EUV systems. In standard lithography processes, photo masks are used to project light patterns onto a silicon wafer to create circuit designs. However, photo masks are expensive and time-consuming to produce. Russia's machine takes a different approach by directly writing onto the silicon wafer itself, bypassing the need for photo masks altogether. This eliminates a significant step in the manufacturing process, which could lead to faster production times and lower costs. The ability to eliminate the need for photo masks might give Russia a clear competitive edge in the semiconductor market, where speed and cost are critical. Number 4. Use of silicon-based photoresists. Lastly, Russia's EUV lithography machine uses silicon-based photoresists for the lithography process, a significant departure from traditional EUV systems that rely on more expensive and less abundant photoresists. The use of silicon-based photoresists could drastically lower the cost of chip production, making advanced EUV lithography more accessible and scalable. How did Russia get here? To fully grasp Russia's recent breakthrough in the field of semiconductor technology, it's important to look back at the country's rich history with lithography. Lithography technology, a crucial component in semiconductor production, has long been a focus of Russian scientific research. As early as the 1970s, during the era of the Soviet Union, Russian scientists were already making significant strides in photolithography, a key process for producing the fine patterns on semiconductor chips. While the Soviet Union was not the dominant force in the global market at the time, it made substantial contributions to the development of lithographic techniques, particularly in improving light sources and optical devices. After the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, Russia continued to nurture its scientific expertise, with a continued emphasis on advancing lithography technologies. Russian researchers were especially pivotal in developing multi-layer mirrors, an essential component that later played a key role in the development of ASML's extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography systems. These mirrors, which reflect light at specific wavelengths, became integral to the success of modern EUV machines, helping push the limits of chip manufacturing to smaller and more efficient components. Despite facing geopolitical and economic challenges, Russia's enduring focus on innovation in the lithography field laid the foundation for its most recent achievement, the development of a Russian-made EUV machine. This new achievement doesn't come in isolation, it is the result of years of hard work, research and technological development, and it signifies a significant shift in the balance of power in the global semiconductor industry. Now that we understand the historical context, let's take a closer look at how Russia's new lithography machine stacks up against ASML's EUV technology. There are a few critical differences that could have a major impact on how Russia's machine might shape the future of semiconductor production. Cost efficiency. One of the most notable differences between Russia's machine and ASML's EUV technology is the cost. ASML systems are known to be incredibly expensive, with prices often reaching hundreds of millions of dollars per machine. This has put the technology out of reach for many smaller countries and companies. 
In contrast, Russia's machine could offer a more affordable alternative. With the use of a xenon-based light source instead of ASML's more costly sources and the integration of silicon photoresists, Russia's technology could provide significant cost savings for manufacturers. These potential savings could attract countries and companies looking to reduce their dependence on ASML's pricey systems. ASML has long been the undisputed leader in the EUV lithography market, with its systems being the only machines capable of producing semiconductors at scales below 7 nanometers. However, with Russia entering the fray, the global semiconductor landscape could be changed forever. Russia's new machine could introduce competition into a market that has been dominated by ASML for years. More competition means that countries like China and Japan might have more room to develop their own advanced semiconductor technologies, opening up new opportunities and leading to a more diversified and competitive global semiconductor industry. This shift could also create more opportunities for countries to produce their own chips locally, reducing the need for global supply chains and offering greater security. As a result, we might see the market evolve into a more decentralized structure with many countries having access to advanced manufacturing techniques, rather than relying solely on one or two market leaders. The global implications, what this means for the semiconductor industry. Russia's success in developing its own EUV lithography system is not just important for the country itself, it has the potential to create ripples across the global semiconductor market and could lead to far-reaching implications in various sectors. Over the years countries like China, Japan and South Korea have already been exploring alternative technologies to EUV lithography, including electron beam lithography, X-ray lithography and nano imprint lithography. As Russia begins to make strides with its own EUV machine, it could spur these countries to accelerate their own research and development efforts, bringing forth more options in semiconductor manufacturing. This would result in a more competitive global environment, where no single country holds a monopoly over the most advanced technologies. Such competition could drive rapid innovation and fuel the next generation of breakthroughs in semiconductor production. For over two decades, ASML has been the only company that produces EUV lithography machines capable of creating chips on the most advanced production nodes below 7 nanometers. ASML's near monopoly has given it significant control over the semiconductor industry, making it a crucial player in the global tech supply chain. However, Russia's new machine could help break this monopoly, enabling countries to reduce their reliance on ASML's EUV machines. As Russia becomes a serious competitor in the field, more nations might explore the option of working with Russia's technology instead of ASML's, giving them the ability to produce advanced chips more independently. Additionally, this could pave the way for more localized semiconductor production. With fewer dependencies on a single supplier, countries may find it easier to create their own semiconductor ecosystems, making manufacturing more cost-effective and secure. This could lead to stronger, more resilient supply chains, something that's become increasingly important in the wake of global disruptions. Increased innovation. More competition in the EUV lithography space means there's more room for technological advancements. Russia's entry into the market could encourage both existing and new players to push the boundaries of what's possible. We could see new techniques, materials and production methods emerging, all of which could make semiconductor chips even more powerful, affordable, and efficient. As different countries and companies start to develop their own lithography solutions, the semiconductor manufacturing process could undergo a complete overhaul. This would mean that chips, which power everything from smartphones to self-driving cars, could become cheaper to produce faster and even more energy efficient. The innovation sparked by this competition might also have applications far beyond semiconductor manufacturing, influencing a wide range of industries, from healthcare to aerospace. What lies ahead? As we look forward, it's clear that Russia's achievement in developing its own EUV lithography machine marks the beginning of a new chapter for the semiconductor industry. By overcoming the technological and economic challenges of advanced lithography development, Russia has positioned itself as a serious player in the global semiconductor game.
But the journey doesn't end here. The coming years will be crucial in determining whether Russia can maintain its edge in EUV technology. Will it be able to scale production and offer a machine that rivals ASML in terms of efficiency, reliability, and performance? The next few years we'll see how Russia's entry into the EUV space impacts the broader market, with major players like ASML, Japan's Nikon, and even China's state-backed research efforts closely watching these developments. If Russia can continue to innovate and perfect its EUV technology, it could lead to a more diverse and competitive global semiconductor market. The race to lead in semiconductor technology is now more competitive than ever. With countries like the United States, China, Japan, and Russia all vying for a stake in the future of semiconductor manufacturing, the coming years will likely see a dramatic shift in the tech world. With this new era of innovation, the next few years will be critical in shaping the global semiconductor industry. The landscape is changing, and Russia's bold leap into EUV lithography has the potential to disrupt the industry in ways we can only begin to imagine. The question remains, will Russia's breakthrough spark a new wave of global competition, or will it become just another piece in the puzzle of the semiconductor industry's future? Only time